Hi folks, it's Ron with Ideal. Hey, here at Ideal Industry, we've spent decades on learning the craft of how to make the very best wire connector for making electrical mechanical connections used in residential, commercial, and industrial applications. And we make millions of these wire connectors every year, and our wire connectors are really kind of the industry standard that everybody else compares their connectors to. Now, electricians uh, have been using these things for years, and um, the wire connector is really is an integral part of any electrical system you find in any building out there. And matter of fact, you open up an electrical outlet box, more than likely you're going to find three or more of these in every one of those outlet boxes you open up. And contractors have used the term wing nut and wire nut for years when describing wire connectors, but those are actually ideal trademark names, and today they just kind of become synonymous with anybody else's wire connector you'll find out in the industry. And if you'd like to learn more about ideal wire connectors, you can go check them out on our website or contact our customer service department. And you'll find that we have a complete line of wire connectors that will handle any range or combination of wiring you'll experience out there. Now in this video, I'd like to give you some tips for using uh, wire connectors when making up electrical connections. And the first tip I'll give you is refer to the packaging itself the connector came in, and it will tell you what wire combinations that connector is actually you are listed for, so make sure the conductors you're using are actually gonna fit inside this connector. Now you'll also find the recommended strip length on your conductors here as well. And keep in mind that all these connectors are designed for copper to copper wire combinations. They're not UL listed for copper to aluminum or aluminum to aluminum type connections. Now, many years ago, as a young salesman in the field, I realized that people have a real preference on which cut wire connectors they like to use. And whether you're a wire nut, wing nut, a twister, or a B cap kind of guy, uh, you're going to find out that these wire connectors cover pretty much the same wire ranges, and that the ranges range between 20 gauge wire up to 6 gauge wire, except for the wing nut here, which is 18 gauge to uh, 6 gauge wire. And depending on the style of the connector, they all have a little bit different feel to them, and they will all have several sizes to cover that range or combination of wires. And uh, you might notice that they're color coded as well. And Ideal started color coding wire connectors many, many years ago. And today, when contractors pick up a yellow wing nut or somebody else's yellow wing nut, they know that connector is UL listed for three number 12 connector, uh, conductors, which is a very common connection for them to be making up in the field. And they know if they grab a red one, that it's UL listed for five number 12s or four number 10s uh, conductors. So we know which one to reach for uh, in the pouch when you're out there in the field actually making up connections. And today, when you look at wire connector manufacturers, they all uh, uh, color code their connectors in a similar manner as well. Ideal wire connectors do their job by simply twisting electrical conductors together to provide a good, clean, mechanical connection. They consist of an outer shell that holds a metal spring made of square wire that bites cleanly into the conductors. Now, whether you pre-twist the conductors or not, the connector will engage all the conductors when making the connection, ensuring a good electrical connection. You can see this as I remove the connector and look at how it is bitten into all the conductors and twisted them together. Now the top of the twister connector fit conveniently fits a nut driver to aid in the installation of the connectors. A typical connection many of us run across in lighting fixtures and other appliances is one number 14 gauge solid copper wire to a stranded copper 18 gauge wire. I'm going to use a wire nut, but you can use any connector ready for this combination. To properly make the connection, simply strip the outer jacketing on both conductors, and you could refer to the packaging for the recommended strip length of the conductors. Then simply hold the two conductors side by side and make sure to lead the stranded conductor slightly about a sixteenth of an inch before inserting them into the wire nut. This will ensure that the stranded conductor is making a proper connection with the solid conductor and it is also making a good contact with the spring in the connector as well. Then twist the two conductors together completely until the stranded wire begins to wrap around the solid conductor. Electrical contractors will use a lot of stranded THHN wire when installing electrical systems because of its flexibility. In many cases, they simply have to join two number 12 gauge stranded conductors together at an outlet in a room. To do this, simply strip both conductors a half an inch and hold the two conductors side by side. Then insert them into the connector ready for that combination. Here I'm using a red wing nut. Then twist the two conductors together with the wing nut until the conductors twist themselves together approximately the same length as the connector itself. This will ensure a good connection, and by removing the connector and looking at the two conductors, you can see that the wing nut completely twisted them together, ensuring a good clean connection. Now never cut or remove any of the strands of the conductors to get them to fit into a connector. When working with multiple solid conductors, pre-twisting is not required, but it is recommended that you pre-twist before installing them in the connector itself. 
Here are three number 10 gauge conductors that have been stripped long about three quarters of an inch. Electricians typically twist the conductors together in a clockwise manner using a side cutting pliers jaws to hold the conductors together and twisting until the conductors are twisted together approximately twice the length of the connector. Then using the cutting edge of the pliers, trim the conductors to a half inch. Then insert the conductors into the connector, and here I'm using an Ideal Twister Pro, and twist it on tightly onto the conductors. Those are just a few tips to use when working with wire connectors in general. And if you'd like to learn more about wire connectors and the different types that are available, go check out our website. And you'll find we make a variety of wire connectors for different applications, including weatherproof, underground, and utility type applications. And you can contact our customer service department and locate a distributor nearby that actually stocks and sells Ideal wire connectors. Hey, thanks for watching, folks. I'm Ron with Ideal, and I'll see you on the next one.